it's that time of year again. Finals are wrapping up, summer vacation is almost here, and graduation is less than a month away. We sat down with five graduating seniors to see what it takes to graduate from Cabrini University. So the first thing that we have to do for graduation is um, register for graduation. We get an email over the summer. We have to pay, I think it's like $150 or something like that. Um, and it's just covering graduation fees, commencement tickets, um, your cap and gown, things like that. And then nothing really up until commencement kickoff, which we just had about two weeks ago, where we pick up our cap and gown, um, our medals. We also can then buy tickets for senior week. And now it's a matter of waiting until May 21st, basically. You know, Cabrini's really set, a, set me up pretty well um, to be you know, prepared for my future with um, developing our prof my professional um, experience and you know, preparing my, myself for the career that it lays ahead. So here in CCPD, we've been meeting with a number of students who are looking to receive um, resume help in order to apply for internship opportunities, also, students are now applying for full-time career opportunities, um, as well as we've seen a number of students who are applying to graduate school as well. And so that is the combination that we've been seeing um, at the end of this academic semester. So the next six weeks, I'm just going to try to get my senior capstone done, and continue to play softball, and just kind of get ready for the steps after graduation. After graduation, I'm going into the field of um, sports marketing. I'm doing a sales and marketing job as, um, as a part of Gladiator Mouthguards. Um, so we supply custom mouthguards for sports teams, professional athletes, um, and you know, so I'll be running their marketing, their social media, and um, also doing some you know, conferences and traveling a little bit for them. So I'm hoping to get a job in higher education, um, and right now it's just sending in my application to a bunch of different schools. Ideally, I'll also be going to grad school um, to get a master's in gender and body studies, but for right now, it's just finding that job after graduation to start paying those student loan bills. So my feelings right now, I'm very excited to, to move on to the next chapter of my life. Um, obviously, I, you know, there's a, a little bit of emotion, uh, you know, moving on and not being able to see my friends every day and, you know, going to class and still being a, a part of um, an athletic team. Um, so this will be my last year doing that. Um, but, you know, it's just a really a lot of excitement and um, eagerness to get out there and, you know, make my mark on the world. Um, I'm definitely going to miss the um, whole tight-knit community. Um, I'm going to miss, you know, just waking up for a brunch and going to lunch with my friends and just text them like, hey, anyone want to grab lunch? I'm definitely going to miss the people. I mean, that's what made my college experience like the most memorable were all the friends and professors that I met and all of the people that came into my life. They're especially the ones that are going to be, you know, staying here who are underclassmen that I've gotten to know through work and through the theater, um, they're the ones that I'm really going to miss the most after graduation.